DeGrom blew a 99-mile-an-hour fastball by Acuna Jr. to begin the ballgame. Albies grounded out to second for the second out of the first. Freddie Freeman walked with two outs and nobody on. Ozuna grounded out to third to end a scoreless first for DeGrom. Nimmo lined a 3-1 pitch right back up the middle for a leadoff single against Soroka. McNeil hit one hard, but Freeman made an amazing play and turned it into an unassisted double play for the first two outs. Alonzo grounded out to short to end the bottom of the first. Matt Adams struck out swinging on a good changeup for the first out of the second. Austin Riley foul-tipped a 3-2 pitch into the glove of Ramos for the second out. Dansby Swanson swung at the first pitch and lifted it to fairly deep center field, but it stayed in the park to end a 1-2-3 inning for DeGrom. Conforto was hit by a 1-2 breaking ball to begin the bottom of the second. Cespedes popped an 0-2 pitch up behind the plate for the first out of the inning. Robinson Cano hit one right to Albies for an inning-ending 4-6-3 double play. Ender and Ciarte got into a 2-1 pitch and drilled it high in the air to deep right field. Conforto went back onto the track and he made the play right in front of the wall. Jackson struck out on a half swing for the second out of the third. Acuna broke his bat on an 0-2 pitch and rolled one slowly through the middle for a two-out single. Albies lifted one to Nimmo in center to end a scoreless third inning for DeGrom. J.D. Davis struck out swinging to begin the bottom of the third. Ramos struck out looking on a borderline 2-2 pitch for the second out. Rosario grounded out to third to end a 1-2-3 third for Soroka. Freddie Freeman struck out swinging to begin the top of the fourth. Marcelo Zuna struck out looking for the second out as ESPN was zoomed in on Piazza when the pitch was thrown. The inning ended while ESPN was showing old highlights. Scoreless through three and a half. Nimmo grounded out to second to begin the bottom of the fourth. McNeil swung at the first pitch and ripped it down the right field line. It caromed off the side wall right to Acuna and he fired a strike to second to get McNeil. The Mets challenged the call and it was overturned. The Mets now had a runner on second with one out in the fourth. Alonzo grounded one to short, and Swanson made a great heads-up play to get McNeil, trying to advance to third for the second out. Conforto grounded out to short to end a scoreless fourth for Soroka. Riley struck out swinging for the first out of the fifth. Swanson struck out swinging for the second out. Inciarte flew out weakly to left to end a 1-2-3 fifth and final inning for DeGrom. Cespita swung at the first pitch and rolled out to third for the first out of the bottom of the fifth. Cano fisted a 1-2 pitch into left to give the Mets a one-out base runner. J.D. Davis was all over an 0-2 pitch and drilled it into deep center field. Inciarte went back onto the track. He leaped at the wall, and he made the play to rob Davis of extra bases and potentially a home run. Inciarte added another great play at City Field to his career highlight reel to rob Davis. Ramos grounded into a fielder's choice to the left side to end the bottom of the fifth. New pitcher Seth Lugo got Jackson to strike out for the first out of the sixth. Acuna struck out swinging for the second out of the inning. Albi swung at the first pitch and lined one right at Conforto to end a 1-2-3 inning for Lugo. Rosario swung at the first pitch and lined a single into center to put the leadoff man on for the Mets. Nimmo lined one into left center field. Ozuna drifted to his left to make the play for the first out. McNeil hit an 0-1 pitch hard towards the gap in left center field. Inciarte got a great jump on it, and he used his wheels to run it down for a nice play as Rosario retreated back to first. Alonso chased ball four to go down on strikes as we were still scoreless through six. Freeman hit one on one hop to second, and McNeil made a nice play on a tough hop for the out. Ozuna ripped a 1-1 pitch down the left field line for extra bases. Davis field and fired in as Ozuna had a one-out double for the Braves in the seventh. The first pitch to Adams got away from Ramos, and Ozuna advanced to third. With the infield in, Adams rolled one to second, and McNeil took it himself to first to get the out and hold the runner on third. Riley struck out looking on a fastball that clipped the inside corner to end the inning and strand the runner on third. New pitcher Chris Martin got Conforto to fly out to center for the first out of the seventh. Martin left an 0-1 pitch down the middle, and Cespedes crushed it to left. All Ozuna could do was turn and watch as Yoannis Cespedes hit an absolute bomb into the seats and left to give the Mets a 1-0 lead. Cespedes made some noise in his first game back in almost two years. One more look at the swing and bat flip by Yo as he gave the Mets a 1-0 lead. Cano struck out swinging for the second out of the inning. Davis grounded out to third to end the inning, but the Mets scored first to take a 1-0 lead.
Justin Wilson came in for the Mets, and Vanderbilt Commodores legend Danby Swanson dropped the leadoff single into right to put the tying run on for the Braves. Pinch hitter Adam Duvall struck out swinging for the first out of the eighth. With Swanson running, Camargo grounded out to Jimenez for the second out of the inning. Acuna struck out looking to end the inning and strand the runner in scoring position. New pitcher Shane Green got Ramos to pop out to Freeman in foul territory for the first out of the eighth. Rosario flew out to Duvall and Wright for the second out of the inning. Nimmo lined the first pitch right back up the middle for a two-out single. McNeil grounded out to first to end the inning. 1-0 Mets through 8. New pitcher Edwin Diaz got Albies to ground out on one hop to second for the first out of the ninth. Freeman drew a five-pitch walk to put the tying run on base. Ozuna struck out looking on a fastball that clipped the outside corner for the second out. Matt Adams struck out swinging on a great slider to end the ball game as the Mets defeated the Braves by a score of 1 to nothing on opening day. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you in the next one.